Oh, let's talk server provisioning. Now, I know it's probably not the most exciting thing we could talk about. It's sort of one of those thankless IT jobs that we're asked to do over and over and over and over again. But what if it didn't need to be like that? What if we could change? What if our IT services could just tell us when they're running low on compute and then provision those servers for us? That sounds nice. And that's exactly what event-driven Ansible delivers. Event-driven Ansible allows us to connect to our intelligent systems, and it allows us to listen for those events and then act on those events like server provisioning. Now that also sounds really nice. It sounds so nice, in fact, that we were able to walk one of our customers through using event-driven Ansible to automate their server provisioning and patching processes. Now, system administrators, they went from managing hundreds of VMs or hundreds of servers to thousands of servers just overnight, and then also save a ton of money along the way. If event-driven Ansible sounds like something that could solve your problems, and you're wondering what this ball is all about, well, come with me, I'll explain. Okay. Server provisioning. Now, provisioning a server from bare metal takes a long time. It could be two days, it could be two weeks. A virtual machine, probably much faster, right? That could be 25, 35, 45 minutes. It just depends. But best case scenario, the request comes in and all those requirements are already satisfied, so we can just knock out that one VM provisioning. Now that was pretty easy, right? And it should be pretty simple. It was just that one request. But remember that customer that we were talking about earlier. Now they had developers from all over the place sending requests from, from all different regions. Now that one, whoa, I think that one came from South Africa. Here's uh, South America. Here is, uh, whoa, there's a puffin in Newfoundland. That's incredible. But if I had caught all of these, it'd be quite the handful. What if Ansible was able to listen to these incoming events and act on them? Well, that is exactly what an Ansible rulebook does. It's listening for those events that we care about, things like a new ticket coming in for a new VM provision request. And it knows which actions to take based on those conditions. So as a new event comes in, Ansible can automate away that VM provisioning, sweeping all of that work right off of the table. Now, event-driven Ansible is just one of the capabilities within Ansible Automation Platform, and it represents a giant leap forward towards true end-to-end -to -end automation. I think this is a game changer, and I'm very excited to see what we're all able to accomplish once we're free from these simple and mundane repetitive tasks like VM provisioning. So think about those boring IT tasks that are bogging you down because I bet that event-driven Ansible can help.